that's what we expected the price drop uh right now because if we refer to our analysis we mentioned if we get any opportunity for buy we'll take it we're looking for buy and the targets we're looking for with the breakout of the previous top the target i'm looking for is 38 falling by 43 all right but the price dropped quite a lot and the only thing is first if we refer to my analysis since the price was here we mentioned we can expect the price to drop even since the price was here we mentioned we can expect to see at least one more drop and we were not looking for sale because as we can see any opportunity we get for sale it was short term right because even we can expect this one continuation as a corrective move whenever we see this kind of the move mostly we are not really interested to look for trade mostly for this one for the sell right and at this point still i'm looking for buy if i get any opportunity for buy i will take it and i need to see the breakout of the previous stop and this is the targets we're looking for that's mean if we get any opportunity for buy we'll take it but we need to see the continuation as a sharp move why we don't want to see the continuation as a corrective move because if the price continues as a corrective move we can expect this one tentative flat for the next drop this is where we look for sell that's mean if the price we don't need to wait for the price to take the previous stop this the, the, then we look for the flat this is one of the options, but even if the price reverses as a corrective move, we see the price until this zone, it turns to a corrective move, then we should know about this flat. And any reverse drop as a short move flag, this is where we can look for sell. But at this point, we are not really interested to look for sell. Any sell will be short and we are more interested to look for buy because based on higher time frame, we're looking for the reversal. All right, this is where we look for sell. That's mean if you get any opportunity for buy, we'll take it. If we see the continuation as a sharp, with the breakout of the previous stop, this is where we look for, this is the targets we're looking for. That's mean at the first we're looking for buy. But if we see turns to a corrective move, it's not moving our direction, then we take out the trade, then any sell from there, we'll take it. And this, the reason we want to look for sell, we look at this one as a flat in relative to this. At this point, we are not considering about this. Anyway, at this point, we're looking for buy. If you get any opportunity for buy, we'll take it. And if we move to daily chart, what we're looking for, we're looking for the reversal. This is what I'm looking for. That's why we're more interested to look for buy. And if you get an opportunity for buy, we'll take it. And the targets I'm looking for based on daily chart, 71 falling by 84 cents. But we can expect the price consolidate here for a longer time before we see the reversal. That's why if we want to look for buy, we prefer to look for trade at the lower time frame because mostly based on daily chart, we cannot get, if we want to look for the trade setup, we cannot get the really tra good trade at the lower price. Anyway, if we get any opportunity for buy based on lower time frame, we'll take it. But if it is not moving our direction, we should know how to manage it. This is what we're looking for if we move to forward chart. But if the price reverses as a corrective move, we should know about this flat. As what I explained in my last analysis. I mean, sorry, based on the one hour chart. Anyway, we're looking for buy at this point. In this case, we just follow the chart. If I see any update, I will share. Thanks.